The bank was robbed by the burglar yesterday night. Where were you being called by your father from when I was here? The flight was cancelled by the airport manager because of the rain a few minutes ago. Why wasn't the final decision agreed by them? Hello everyone, welcome to this channel again and thank you very much for always watching English learning videos here. I hope all of you are always fine and success in learning English. In the episode 45, I would like to explain active and passive voices just in simple past and past continuous tenses in order that learners can understand it more easily. Actually, I have explained the subject completely in episode 11. If you want to learn more completely in all tenses, you can watch in the episode. Well, let's see the explanation on the following screen. Well, first, I would like to tell you again what's the difference between active and passive voices. Active voice or active sentence is used when a speaker emphasizes a subject rather than an object. While passive voice or passive sentences is used when a speaker emphasizes an object rather than a subject. Examples Number one, active sentence The mechanic repaired my car two days ago. The passive voice is my car was repaired by the magnet two days ago. Number two, active sentence. The author wrote this novel three years ago. Passive sentence. This novel was written by the author three years ago. Number three, active sentence. He was not doing his school assignment because he was sick last night. Passive sentence, his school assignment was not being done by him because he was sick last night. Number four, active sentence. When did the president deliver the speech of national budget? Passive voice, when was the speech of national budget delivered by the president number five active sentence the policemen were arresting the drunk man when i was here last night the passive sentence is the drunk man were being arrested by the policeman when i was here last night after looking at the examples above i would like to make you understand how to make active and uh, passive sentences in English based on the following sentence patterns. Sentence patterns of active voice in simple past tense. Positive, subject plus verb 2 plus subject. Negative, subject plus auxiliary didn't plus verb 1 plus object. Interrogative or the questions which is answered with yes and no. The pattern is D plus subject plus for one plus object in question. To get the answers of the questions, you put question words, for example, where, what time, how, when, and so on. And Followed by auxiliary D plus subject plus for one plus object. Sentence patterns of active voice in past continuous tense. Positive subject plus was or were plus for one in plus object. Negative subject plus was or were plus not plus verb one in plus object interrogative or the question which is answered with yes and no you just put was or were 
and then plus subject plus verb one in plus object. And then for the question, you put firstly question words like when, what time, where, how many, and so on. Followed by was a word plus subject plus verb was in plus, plus object. Sentence pattern of passive voice in general subject plus to be plus for three or past participle plus by object. So the sentence pattern of passive voice in simple past tense positive subject plus was or were plus for three or past participle plus by object for negative subject plus was or were plus not plus for three or past participle plus by object interrogative was or were plus subject plus for three or past participle plus by object and then for the question which which is used to get more answers says so you put question word and then followed by was a word plus subject plus for three or plus participle plus object and then for the sentence patterns of passive voice in the past continuous tense in these patterns there are two kinds of to be first past and continuous to be past was verb and then continuous being so a positive subject plus was over plus being plus for three or past participle plus by object and then for negative sentence pattern subject plus was or were plus not plus being plus for three or plus participle plus by object interrogative was or were plus subject plus being plus for three or plus participle plus by object for question question word plus was or were plus subject plus being plus by object I remind you that in simple past only one kind of to be was or were plus for three and then for the past continuous there are two kinds of to be to be past was were and then followed by being or continuous so subject plus was were plus being plus for three or plus participle now exercise change the following sentences into passive number one the barber robbed the bank yesterday afternoon what's the passive voice of number one fena the bank was robbed by the burglar yesterday night all right thank you and number two now where was your father calling you from when I was here just now? Angi? Where were you being called by your father from when I was here? That's right. Very good. Number three, the airport manager cancelled the flight because of the rain a few minutes ago. Fallon? The flight was cancelled by the airport manager because of the rain a few minutes ago. All right. Number four, why did they agree with the vinyl decision? Lenta, what's the passive sentence of number four? Why wasn't the final decision agreed by them? All right, good answer. Number five, Indonesia proclaimed the Indonesian independence in 1945. Finally, what's the passive form of number five? The Indonesian independence was proclaimed in 1945. All right, good answer. And uh, number six now. My brother was painting the house before I came home. 
Angi, what's the passive form of number six? The house was being painted by my brother before I came home. All right, thank you very much. Good answer. Number seven, Thomas Alva Edison invented electric light bulb in 1879. Fellow, what's the what's the passive form of number seven? The electric light bulb was invented by Thomas Alva Edison in 1879. Good answer. Number eight, the man was cutting the tree before it rained an hour ago. Lenta, what's the passive form of number eight? The tree was being cut by the man before it rained an hour ago. Good answer, thank you very much. The applicants send the application letters by email. What's the passive form of number nine, Fena? The application letters were sent by the applicant by email. Good answer, thank you. Mr. Anton was explaining passive voice when it was raining hard. Andy, what's the passive form of number 10? Passive voice was being explained by Mr. Anton when it was raining hard. All right. Thank you very much. Well, viewers, I think that is all for the explanation of active and passive voices or sentences in English. See you on the next time in different topic. Bye-bye.